how to use your mobile device, your iPhone, your Android, your iPad, your MacBook with the SC3 by Fifine. That's right. I've got a lot of questions in my comments with how do I utilize my phone with this particular mixer, although it only has a 3.5 millimeter audio jack port to connect to your iPhone, you will need an adapter. So here is a quick crash course tutorial on how to connect your mobile device and monitor it through the SC3 Fifine audio mixer. Let's just get right into it right now. All right, so first and foremost, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a microphone, a Fifi mixer, and a mobile device, All right? You need your hardware. So with our demonstration, we're just gonna utilize iPhone 13 Pro Max, 14, doesn't matter. And with your iPhone, you're going to need the 3.5 millimeter jack adapter to the lightning connector. So if it's an Android device, you'll need the USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. What kind of aux cable do you need? Now I test it with a TRRS to TRS, doesn't work. So for this to work, you need a TRRS to TRRS. What is that? What are you talking about? What language is that? So essentially a TRRS is the 3.5 millimeter jack that comes with the three rings that is at the tip of your adapter on the back of your SC3 right here on the back, right? Because there's only one back. You want to connect this to your line in, which is right there in our face. You'll see that you have a headset port right here and you have a headphone port right here. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the headset. It will work on the headphone port but we are going to utilize our headset port here. All right, so here we are with our phone and let's just play anything by me to protect ourselves from copyright stuff. So right now we have a video playing on my iPhone, which is one of my videos. And right now we have no audio going. So what you wanna look at on your mixer when you're all connected with your line in is you wanna to go to the line in slider or the line in mute button. And just by sliding up your line in slider, you will get some audio connected via the 3.5 millimeter jack like this. Sliding it up as such. So not too bad of a sausage, what? And right now I'm listening it to via monitoring, but if I cut monitoring off, that's fine because your music should still play with monitoring down or muted. And just like that, you have audio from your mobile device, such as an iPhone going through your SC3 mixer. There is really not much else to that. That's the basic function of how it works connected via the 3.5 millimeter jack. Now I will say that if you have filters applied to the SC3 over OBS, the filters will apply to the music. So for example, if I have noise cancellation going, it's going to cut out the music coming from the phone. Yeah, so I just tested it and it, the audio was kind of going up and down and practically disappearing because it was filtering out the music as if it was noise in my background. So just be sure to not have any of those filters going on an external software, especially if you're kind of just wanting to play music through this and record it over your PC, then you're gonna get those filters going if you have that on some piece of software going through your mixers. So just be mindful of that. But otherwise, if you want to see the full review of the Fifine SE3, check out this video right here. I did a full review in super detail so it will give you the ins and outs of how this mixer works and you can combine that with this phone mobile device way to use it. So with that, I'll see you in my next video later.